everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We're here at uh, Alabama Hills. We stayed the night here last night. It's free, BLM land, and uh, we did a little bit of rock climbing yesterday. And we have an amazing day in the life in store for you. Yeah. So. I can't wait to show you guys the campsite. If you've ever been to Joshua Tree, it's kind of like that with the rocks, but then you have the Sierra Nevadas in the background with Mount Whitney. It's just like one of the it's most amazing. beautiful places ever. <laughs> so let's show you what it looks like. So if you can't already tell, this place is freaking amazing. We're gonna eat some breakfast really quick and then we're gonna spend the day doing the thing that I love to do, which is climb some walls. Rock climbing. Wee hoo! But breakfast first and coffee. <laughs> We have cleaned up the van, ate in breakfast, eaten breakfast? I don't know. <laughs> and we're off to climbing. All right, catch up with you guys <laughs> in just a little bit. <laughs> so we almost forgot our leveling blocks, which uh, I don't know if you can see, but they're just rocks <laughs> that we got from a campfire over there. But you know, leave no trace and all that, so. <laughs> Now we're off to go climbing. <laughs> All right, so we just got done with the warm-up climb. We're here at the Sunday matinee wall. Which is pretty appropriate since it's Sunday. <laughs> yep, and we're having a nice matinee of it. <laughs> Katie just got done challenging herself through that 5-7 right there. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to knock this wall out one by one left to right. So we're on to route number two. All right, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> okay guys, so that was a long climbing day. Probably longer than we anticipated, but it was a really fun day. This is a really cool place to go climbing. It's just all over the place. Went to, as we mentioned, Sunday matinee, which was basically a whole gym in itself. And then there's like a corridor that has like 10 more sport climbs, so it was super fun. Um, yeah, we climbed a bunch of stuff. <laughs> My fingers are pretty much bleeding. I wanted to climb more actually, but yeah. you gotta have the maturity to call it a day when it's done. And we're pretty beat right now. It's cold right now, and we're gonna get some fuel. Yeah, it's time to eat some dinner. So let's uh, go find a campsite for the night. What do you think? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, we'll, we'll catch uh, you guys up in a minute. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> Whoops, just kidding. So sorry about not bringing you guys with us to dinner last night. We ended up getting to the site and realizing we were just about out of gas. So we had to go back to town and get some gas and then find a new site. And by the end of all that, we were very tired and we just decided to go to bed. So. We found this awesome campsite though, which is, I mean, there's tons of these all over the place. It's just a dispersed site, no amenities, just a campfire and uh, spent the night. And now we're probably only about a half a mile from the Mobius Arch. So we are gonna show you that today. Yeah, we'll head over there in just a minute. We're gonna drive like right down this dirt road to get to the beginning of that trail and then go for a nice walk. Yeah, it's short, it's like half a mile, and it should have pretty good views. And we're there.
Okay, arch number one of two. This is the heart arch, which is shaped like a heart, as you can see a little bit. I think these rocks are really cool because they just were formed over time with water and the rock type that's around us. So, um, nothing like anything we've really ever seen before. All right, we're on to arch number two of the loop. See you soon. Okay, so the last stop on our mini adventure for the day is gonna be the Mobius Arch, and we are probably a handful of steps away. So get ready to see that in just a minute. So this is the Mobius Arch, and they call it that because it kind of looks like a Mobius strip, which is a four-dimensional object. Katie has a really funny joke about that, which we're gonna tell you in a little bit when we get back to the van. We just got, wanted to show you guys, this is what the Arch Trail Loop is all about, and there she blows. Crazy, isn't it? Let's go inside it. <laughs> All right, here we are. Got anything to say about it, Katie? Do you want to hear my joke? <laughs> yeah, let's hear it. Okay, so if you don't know, a Mobius strip is a an object that exists in the fourth dimension that only has one side. It's like the most simple of all objects in the fourth dimension. So my joke is, why did the chicken cross the Mobius strip? Why? to get to the same side. <laughs> okay, that's probably enough corniness for today. <laughs> yeah, see you back at the van, y'all. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for our Arizona Hills for our Alabama Hills episode. We hoped you enjoyed this area as much as we did. It's pretty amazing out here. One of our favorite places that we've ever been to. I'm sure we'll be coming back here sometime. Yeah, probably frequently. But that's it for now, and we are gonna catch up with you guys next in Sedona. Sedona. We are headed south back to Sedona, back to Arizona, so we can check off a couple of the boxes that we missed when we were there before. So stay tuned for more of that, and uh, we'll see you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. See ya. Come on, you can do it. Keep going, one more try. Get all the way there. Just put your foot on the rock. You're really close, yeah, yeah. Come on, one more. Yeah! Balance. Whoa! Good job. <laughs>